A question I often get is how to capture your screen for a uh, screenshot to put in as a picture into a document or a presentation or uh, anything as an image file. And there's a couple different ways to do this. The first one is grab. I'm going to go ahead and launch grab. Uh, easiest way to do that is from the spotlight menu. I can also uh, launch grab from the finder and go to um, the utilities folder. And from utilities, the grab application shows right there. So a couple different ways to launch grab. Um, once I've launched it, it looks like a scissors with a uh, little background with a couple dots on it. And if I make grab active, I'll see my menu bar up here. And uh, the main thing I'm going to look at here is capture. And if I want to capture a selection, I can basically go to selection. And it gives me some coordinates uh, here with my mouse and it tells me to drag the portion of the screen you want to capture so if I just want to capture this area here with the red box around it I can do that and now it clicks and I have a new window here with uh, a picture that I can save I can go to file save as <clears throat> and save this as a image file so that's a really simple way to do a selection also in grab there's a way to, to capture a whole window um, that means that if I have uh, Safari or uh, QuickTime open, for instance, um, I can go ahead and just click on the window. Like uh, right here, I actually have a window open in Grab. So if I go to Capture Window, I can choose Window, choose it, and there I have a duplicate of that of that uh, uh, window within Capture. So I also have Screen and Time Screen. Uh, screen will do the whole desktop screen or the whole screen that you're on time screen will allow you to hit time screen and then jump into another application so real quick way to do that uh, through more of a graphical interface is grab um, also another great way to do a screen capture is through uh, keyboard shortcuts and the keyboard shortcuts I'll post those in the description also um, but uh, basically a shift command three makes a little shutter noise and it does a screenshot of my whole screen so I just put, press shift command 3 and I have my whole screen to a file um, I can also do a shift control command 3 and basically that captures the screen to the clipboard and what that means is I can go ahead and do shift control command 3 and there's my whole screen and then if I open up a program like pages let that open here for a second and uh, the clipboard is the area that any images that you save uh, or anything that you you copy and paste uh, where the images or the text goes to so the clipboard is kind of a uh, uh, holding area for that, that item that you copy so I'm going to go ahead and close my welcome window taking a little while to launch here but um, I'll open a blank document, and now since I've captured to my clipboard, if I go file paste or edit paste, excuse me, or control or command V, um, there's my whole screenshot that I just took. Uh, additionally, there's some other ways to uh, do this keyboard shortcut method. Shift command four will capture a selection to the file. So if I do a shift command Four. that gives me the crosshairs again if I zoom in here uh, you may not be able to see that let me jump out of it here I'm going to zoom in on my mouse a little bit and if I do shift command four there you'll see some a crosshair with some coordinates on it that allows me to select an area I can just select a small area here and that will take a screenshot to a file similar to what we did before let me zoom back out and there's the screenshot I just took. So um, that's a good way to do just a selection if you want to drag and select a certain area. Uh, Shift Control Command 4 does the same thing as Shift Control Command 3, but it does it as a selection, not the whole screen. So Shift Control Command 4, and it gives me my crosshairs again. I can drag my crosshairs out, and I can go back into Pages and paste that and there it shows up as a selection screenshot. So a couple basic ways to do a screenshot and uh, hopefully that uh, helps you in capturing your screen images.